According to my journal, three weeks have passed since we were shipwrecked. Cast away on a tropical island, somewhere in the uncharted waters of the Indian Ocean. Our lives are under constant threat from Parsons and his accomplice, Ben, who are also marooned and have taken refuge on an outer island. The wildlife we have so far encountered seems as curious and fearful of us as we are of them, as we attempt to survive in a world far removed from that of Boston, the unpredictable and often inhospitable world of Mother Nature. Billy, the cabin boy, has befriended my youngest sister, Christina, who also delights in her other newfound friends, over which she has become protective and proprietorial since they were found washed ashore. Bruno seems to find our new lifestyle idyllic, as does my other sister, Joanna. And at times, even mother and father appear content, despite our predicament, though I'm sure they, like all of us, fear what the future holds in store. The mysterious Emily Chan remains cold and aloof, and is a constant source of irritation, seemingly unable to accept that she no longer lives in a society with servants, or that for however long we remain as castaways, she is now an equal, and must therefore assist with our daily chores. Emily, I need your help. Please? No, my shell will get dirty. Take it off. <sighs> Emily's selfishness was to endanger not only her own life, but indeed the entire family's, on an adventure which began quite unexpectedly when we first tested our homemade rat. <coughs> this might just work. Here, Billy. Take care of that. It may prove useful. Shall we take it out further? Oh, I'm reluctant, Ernst. I believe we should test the rudder more fully first. started them up. But didn't you feel it? Feel what? I did. Everything seemed to quiver. They're beautiful. These baby. Kid, Christina. When it's a goat, it's called a kid. What kind of goats are they, Mr. Robinson? Mountain goats? Perhaps. But if so, what are they doing down here? Joanna, you've done very well. No thanks to Emily. Try to be patient with her. I know, Mother, but it's very hard. The creatures were very excited in the forest. All fluttering and screaming. And do you know, I thought I felt the earth give a kind of shudder. Amidst it all, I saw three magnificent goats. Beautiful animals. Now then, 
This is uh, fennel. We can make tea with this. And medicine. Heartburn. Yes. And, um... Oh, what about this? Could, uh... Could this be elderflower? Peppermint. For chills and cold fevers. Goodness. And, um... This? Yarrow. To be used for measles. How do you know so much? My grandmother was a healer. She knew a lot about herbs. When I was a little girl, she used to teach me. Mother! We saw three goats! One was a baby! A, a kid! <laughs> I saw them, too. Come down from the mountains, it would seem. I think we may have manufactured a rudder that actually works. Does that mean that we will soon be able to set sail from here? I wouldn't be too certain of that yet, my dear. My father will be mounting a search for me. I'm sure he will, but it may take some time. After all, no one knows where we are. In the meantime, we must take heart and continue to help and support one another. Tell that to Emily. You said she was to help me. I've asked her again and again, but she refuses. Emily, is this true? Billy will do my work for me. Yes, sir. I will. No, he will not. Billy has his own work to do. Emily, under these circumstances, it is very important that we all cooperate with one another. And that means that you must do your work along with everyone else. I am not a servant. No, you're not. But if you don't work, you don't eat. Do you understand that? Well, I'm not hungry. <sighs> Little did we realize at the time that Emily's selfishness, and even the volcano, would pale in comparison with the enormous danger that lay ahead. Volcano's belching again. Pay no attention to the volcano. Study the raft. Yeah, they've been working hard. Mast, cabin, Looks like it could be seaworthy. What I wouldn't give to slide up behind one of them Robinson brats and slit their throat. The children aren't responsible for your brother's death. Their father was. I'm not happy about that raft. Last thing I want is Robinson laughing at me from the horizon. We'll slip ashore, have a look at it. If it's seaworthy, we'll scuttle it. We don't want him slipping away now, do we? Do you think that's going to be good enough to... Oops. The coconut, Master, it's not my shit. Sorry, Billy, I'll try that again. <laughs> there it is again. It's stronger this time. Why is it? Are you children all right? Yes, Father. Look! What is it? A volcano, I think. Is it dangerous? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I, I suppose not. They're always rumbling and grumbling, I think. Shall I call the children in? No, let them play. There doesn't seem to be any immediate danger. I'll go have a closer look. Don't be silly. <coughs> Christina, wait! She's right. It wants us to follow it. Ah, oh, don't believe it. 
believe it. The steer due east. Keep the island between us and them for as long as we can. That way they don't see us coming. <laughs> It is the volcano. Are we in danger? No, I shouldn't think so. It's very far away. It's just that I feel as if this whole island is poised, just waiting for something to happen. down by the sounds of it. I'm going in. I'm coming with you. Come on, Christina. Cover it well. We don't want them Robinsons stealing it. They've got their own raft. You're too good for this world, Ben. Too trusting by, uh... It's a good job you got old Parsons here to look after you. Now make it quick. Help! I'm down here! Billy? <laughs> Can you get back up? No, I can't reach. Is Bruno all right, Billy? He's fine. <laughs> I'm coming down, Billy. No, Christina! Oh, be careful. I will. Hold on. Here. The poor little thing. We must get it home. How are we going to get out with the goat and Bruno? Maybe we could squeeze around this. Come on. Look at this. It's extraordinary. Oh, I've never seen anything like it before. Christina, look. It feels kind of holy. Yes, like a church. Look at this, everyone. This frightens me. You're right. We should leave. <laughs> Look! Bruno's found a way! What was that skeleton doing in there anyway? <gasps> Look! It looks just like the wooden statue inside. What, do you think it's some kind of burial chamber? Let's go and tell Father. Come on, you two. We would soon discover that the statue, burial chamber, and volcano were linked. But at the time, the only question was, why? Feet. Like a hundred. 
And David Robinson is my prey. Are you gonna kill him today? If the opportunity presents itself, I dare say I might. And then everything will fall into my hands. <laughs> And a black pearl. This one. Let me see that. And there were these two huge heads. A wooden one. Inside the cave. And a big stone one came in the cliff. Outside. And then a skeleton fell out. And frightened us. I think I better have a look at that. Ernst, will you show me the way? I'll come too. Oh, no, you won't. Everyone stays here. You've had enough adventures for one day. Your father is quite right, children. <laughs> Now be sensible. Ernst, lead on. Now then, you two, dinner. And you'd better help me tend to this poor young creature. Christina, come back here. It's all right, Mother. They understand. It's like a church. Place of ritual. And then Christina took out the pearl. From here. Ingenious. Is he dead? If he isn't, he's very close to it. Oh. Oh. Do you think they're going to bury him here? Seems likely. He looks as if he may be a king. I better leave. Wait. Follow me. It's a tunnel.
It's too late. They're already here. It's all right, Mama. Now, Christina, stop worrying. The good thing is that there are no bones broken, so it should recover quite quickly. Oh, good. Did you hear that, Bruno? Mama said the baby goat will be good soon. Like volcanoes. Won't do you no harm. How do you know? It's Robinson you got to worry about. He's more danger than any volcano. It's still hard to believe. Well, you didn't see what he did to poor Seth. Keep moving. Cut them free. No, don't be frightened. I mean you no harm. I want to help you. Help. Help, look. Yeah. Very well and good to say we want to help. We'll be hard pressed to get ourselves out of here. Well, uh, the statue, Father. If we can rock that up against the wall, then it'll be easier to get to a tunnel with him. Let's try. Don't touch me! You speak English! Here. 